Hey everyone and I'm back with another devlog. This would be a quick video update to show the progress of my endless on the game. So in my previous devlog, I showed the player movement system and skill set of the game. And generally endless runner revolve around movements. But I wanted to add some more things into the game. So I thought of a simple combat system. Or in simple words, just hit and run enemies. So I had thought 3 classes or 3 types of enemies that are shielded, aerial and normies. And we'll talk about the differences in the later video. So then I started illustrating them. And they might look like some secret spies but they're actually soldiers from a private organization. Which discussing further would count as spoiler of the story so you need to wait for the game. So after creating the 3 types of enemies, I exported them into Unity and created 2 d rigs for each one. Also, I added IK or you could say inverse kinematics to the enemy rigs so now it's easy for me to create various animations. And with that, I created idle, defeated and the attack animation. And same goes for the main character, I created a punching animation and the defeated one when he gets hit by the enemy. So now let's discuss the 3 types of enemy classes. So you can defeat enemies by giving jump and slide input with correct timing. And I chose the same input because endless runner works best on mobile devices so the control should be fairly simple and you can almost do everything with just swiping up and down. So in case of normal enemies, you can use both jump and slide input to defeat them. But with the shielded enemies, you cannot use the jump input to defeat it because it has a freaking shield above him. So you need to slide down in order to defeat him. And it's supposed for the aerial enemies. You cannot slide down because there is a jetpack stream underneath him which I made by using unity particle system. So you need to swipe up in order to trigger aerial enemy defeat. And that gives this simple combat system some dynamics to work with. So you know the players have to quickly think what type of enemy is in front of them and what input they should give otherwise it's game over for them. And this marks the end of the simple enemy hit and run combat system. I might add some more enemy types in future, for example the ranged one which can shoot projectiles and all. You know there is a saying that who has seen the future and the answer is nobody, nobody can actually see the future but who knows what future holds for us. And that would be it for this video. So thanks for watching. And if you like the content I make, then don't forget to subscribe, it really helps me a lot. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.